not surprised. Jackie, <laughs> good to see you. Thank you. And you've been forever beautiful. Wow, thank oh, you. Oh my, am I lying? No. I'm not. <laughs> and you've had such a beautiful career as well. How are you doing, first of all? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I mean, you're described as one of the most successful actresses in Africa. I started wow. watching you from Things We Do For Love. Wow. This very cute, pretty girl, and I was like, who is this one? Oh. <laughs> and here you are. I mean, years down the line, over 20 years, right? Mm -hmm. And you're still this relevant. How did you, I mean, is success something that you envisioned or you planned for or this just happened? Wow. Um, I always thought that I would become a lawyer. <gasps> yes, because I come from a family of lawyers. Okay. Um, um, my father's brothers, brother, all of them are all lawyers. So I always thought I was going to end up in the courtroom. I uh -huh. love to act, okay. but I thought I was going to end up just in school or the church place. I didn't know I was going to become an actress, even though I love to act. I see. But I thought I was going to be in the courtroom. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So you were studying towards that? Uh, I was planning towards that. Okay. <laughs> and it didn't thinking. happen because acting came along. Exactly. Was Things We Do For Love the first um, Things We Do For Love TV was my show? first TV appearance. Yes, it was. But then... Before that, I used to act in church, then I act in school, yeah, but my first TV appearance was things we Professionally? Before. Yes. How easy or difficult was that? Huh. It was hard um, because um, that was the first time I was acting in front of the camera and I would be looking in the camera just to get the director's approval to know if I'm doing it properly, yeah. you know, and... The editing, you see me looking in the camera, so there's, you see, you, you notice some mistakes, you exactly. know. But then I got used to it along the line, and yeah, and what? it got better. I mean, and <laughs> you're really good at this, but you've had such a decent career. Wow. Honestly, no blemish. If anybody even tries, they fall even before <laughs> they start. Uh -oh. How have you kept your head up in all of this? <sighs> it's been really tough. Yeah. Um, it's not easy, but. I'm naturally a cool person, like um, I'm always in my corner, yeah. minding my own business, and um, um, I guess I love my job, okay. and I'm passionate about my job, and um, I don't, I always want, I'm a prefer, I always want things to be perfect, you okay. know, I don't want to make mistakes because I have a lot of people looking up to me, Exactly. you know, and um, I always remember where I'm coming from, I see everyone as me like yeah. i don't think i'm above somebody you mm -hmm. know so i relate to everyone the, the same. same way yeah but you know staying positive is a very difficult thing yes i've not been in the industry longer than you mm -hmm. maybe half the years that you've been but sometimes you know there are days when you're like you know what i've had it it's okay i don't want to do this anymore like can i just go back to being my old self where nobody knew me and mm -hmm. nobody would see me out there even when you're not in the mood yeah they take pictures have you had days like that yes i have and when it happens, what do you do? How do you overcome it? Uh, it's too late. You're already there. So deal with it, you know? And um, I always remember my fans. People are always looking up to me. It's too late to back out, you know? Um, there are days that you're probably not in a good mood. You have a headache. Someone wants to take pictures with you, but you have to smile mm -hmm. um, because you're the reason why you're who you are, that, uh, the celebrity you are. So yeah. I always... I always have to like relax, have patience. I have patience so much for my fans. Yeah. Did you ever think you were going to be this big? Ah, <sighs> good question. I haven't even thought about that. No? <laughs> I don't know. So I'm not that big though. I don't know. Hey. Okay, let's let's throw it to the audience. Is she big? Yes. Like very, very big. Yes. Like Africa big. Yes. Beyond Africa. Yes. So how how has the journey been for you? I mean, we want to hear about the ups and the downs, you know, the good days, the bad days. What has it been like? It's been a roller coaster ride. Yeah? It hasn't been easy. Um, very challenging. Um, you know, sometimes you're driving in traffic and then someone crosses you and you're like, you want to insult the person, you say, hey, you can't. Exactly. You're Jackie, yeah. relax, you know. So sometimes you want to go to the club. And you want to let loose and dance, but mm -hmm. you can't, you know, yeah. because I don't know how to dance. But if I ever, if I wasn't popular, I wouldn't care if I knew how to dance or not. Yeah, you know? still go. Yeah, but yeah, so it has made me a bit reserved, and yeah. But you said you're naturally reserved. I am, I am. But, this but it's has made me of, extra, extra. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? <sighs> it's kept me out of trouble, so I guess it's a good thing. But do you feel sometimes that you're a bit too boring and you you should be able to let loose and have fun? Oh, I let loose 
when the cameras are not rolling anyway. So, so. the people around you know that you are like yeah, a fun person. Yeah, yeah. But in front of the cameras, you are very calm and reserved. Uh, yeah. Have there been able No, actually, off the cameras, I'm actually a I'm actually, uh, reserved person, but I have my fun. I love to travel. Yeah, I have, I see yes. That. You like yes. to dress up too. <laughs> I think in a year you travel like <laughs> my a kind thousand of fun and fifteen is different. times. <laughs> my is kind that, of fun is different, yeah. Your kind of fun is what? Traveling and traveling, exploring. Traveling, going to beautiful places. Don't you get tired yeah. sometimes? Or Never. Like, really? Never. How many countries have you been to so far? Oh, wow. Hmm. I've lost count. I, have, I, haven't, I, I think I have to sit down and count them one by and one. And that's a lot. Yeah. How many countries have you people been to? <laughs> <laughs> How many regions in Ghana have you been to at least? <laughs> Let's start from there, then we can build up. But when you started acting and throughout your career, I mean, going on set, having to get into the, you know, the, the, the zone and make sure that you're delivering, were there ever times that you, get, you got comments from maybe a director, a producer that made you feel like, okay, maybe this is not what I signed up for. I'm not sure if I want to do this anymore. No, I was born for this. You were born for this. Hello, <laughs> yeah. somebody. Did you hear what she said? <laughs> <laughs> so there's never been a challenge on sets like that for you? Um, the, of course, you make mistakes and the director will be on your case. Like, do you need to do it properly? But he was just making me a better person, a better actress. And, you know, let me tell you something. All the movies that the director put pressure on me always won me an award. Really? Yeah. yeah. Well, there's a new one yeah. that she's promoting as well. We'll get into that. And very soon we'll have um, the producer, the executive producer, join us on that as well. But you talk about traveling and all that. So... You said Jamaica is one of the countries that you're most popular. Where? Jamaica. Um, no, not Jama Jamaica, Suriname, all the African countries and other countries. Have you been to Suriname Africa. yet? I haven't, but I've been to the embassy in Ghana, so okay. I was in Suriname. Ah. <laughs> I can imagine what yeah, it's going to be like when you me finally... Over, yes, she made me speak to, uh, I think, the vice president or something. I can't remember yet, but yeah, I think the wife. I may remember that. Yeah, but... um. Um, yeah, I've been to the embassy in Ghana, yeah. so Suriname. Yeah, you've been there, at least. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, we're planning on going there because she wants me to visit yeah. there, yes. Because you have a large fan base. Yes, yes. But as Jamaica. big as you are, do you, has there been anybody that you've met and you're like, Mama, I've made it. Like, I met this person, I know this person, we've had that kind of rapport. Um, wow, I, I think there are lots. I remember... Um, wow, there's, there's so many from Naomi Campbell. Yeah. Um, you know, she used to watch, she watches African movies a lot, you know, and her best friend was telling her, oh, that's the lady you watch, you remember, you remember that movie, mm -hmm. you are watching that, that's the girl. So, oh, really? You know, so they watch African movies, you know, um, Tiffany, Tiffany Haddish. Oh, you've met yeah, her. Yeah. Yeah. I met her in LA and she's like, her house out makes her watch a whole bunch of African films. You so know. she knew you? Yes, she does. Yeah. Yeah. That's so, cool. So they watch our movies. They watch our movies. Wait, are you guys going to work together one of these days? Oh, I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see how it yeah, goes, right? Yeah. But I know that you're working towards, you know, is, is, is the Oscar the ultimate for you? Is it something that you aspire to win? Um, if it comes, why not? Yes. Why not? Yeah. I hope you do. Amen. I pray you do. Amen. Fingers crossed. Fingers right? crossed. Amen. <laughs> Let's see how that goes. But what's a normal day in Jackie's life like? Ah. When you're not working? Sleeping. Sleeping? Yes. Because I work day. too much. I work too much. So the least chance like, I want to sleep and make up for all the days I didn't sleep. So you can see for maybe like a whole week if you don't have to go anywhere? No, you sleep, say? eat. I'm doing that too much. So I'm gaining weight, which is bad. So... I need to hit the gym, but yes, um, I like to relax, you know, spend time with my family. Mm. Oh, that's the time I used to travel as well, you yeah. know, yeah. Do you watch a lot of movies? Yes, I do watch What's movies. What's your usual kind of movie that you'd watch if you're not watching yourself? Drama. You like drama? Yeah. Why that? I don't know. I don't know. I just love drama. And, and I like being kept in suspense. And okay. I guess probably the part of the world we come from. Yeah. You know, we're very dramatic people. Are you able to watch yourself? Yes. But oh, I haven't watched all my movies. But you still watch yourself. Don't you critique, critique yourself too much when you're yes, watching? Yes, I do. I do. Yeah. I do critique myself. Yeah, I do. But What's then, that one movie of yourself that you watched and you were thinking, hmm, Jackie, maybe you should have done it this way. Why did you, why did you do this? Those, my, those movies I did way back when Is it I was the saying, crying ones? No, not the crying ones. There's some films that I did I'm like, I wish I could buy. I saw TV3 play the last time. Like, I wish I could buy all the copies of the movies. And hide it? Yes. Oh, why? <laughs> no, because they're <laughs> terrible. They're terrible, yes. That's, yeah, so I've learned from my mistakes mm. and, you know, we get better. Um, yes. So there was a time when people were having fun and they were looking for the actress that is able to cry. 
on sets. Like if they say action, the tears just come down. And I think you won that cup. I don't know, but I think your name came up a lot of times. And I've always wondered as well, because if you need me to cry on set, it will take a lot. I know. How do you get into the role so easily? That's the scene I hate the most, crying. I don't like crying scenes. Whenever I get a script and I have to cry, I'm like, oh, no, here we go again. You're kidding. Yes. And I get those scripts a lot, but I hate, I hate to cry because it's not easy. You need to be in character. Um, you need to zone yourself in. You yeah. Know? And when people are busy fooling, you can't fool with them, you know. Yeah. You need to be in character. You know, and it's a tough thing. And even that, you still get the tears rolling like that. Yes, but it's not, it's not an easy task. It's not as if it happens immediately. I'm sure they do cuts, take cuts. Um, no, once comes, you say action. And the tears are coming. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> I have a lot to learn from you because even when I'm broken hearted, I don't cry. How much more is the action? <laughs> Please, I will even waste my time. But let's talk about philanthropy. One of the things that I've come to love about you is your passion for humanity and the things you do. I mean, there's never been a birthday in the last maybe 10 years. Wow, that, you've been oh, watching. Oh, I, <laughs> girl, I've been following. Impressed. That yeah. you haven't done something for a community or a group of people. How does it make you feel when you do these things? And how are you able to even select what to do at every point? <sighs> I feel honored. I feel humbled. And I only feel that... Um, when God has blessed me and I've made some money, I use a percentage of that money to do, to make people smile. Um, how we go about finding the people, it comes when it's getting closer. I don't know, I don't plan, like, I don't know what I'm gonna do next yeah. um, for the people, for my next birthday, you know. It comes along the line and then maybe I'll be watching TV and I'll hear someone say they don't have this or they don't have that and yeah. that can touch my heart mm. and i'm like okay we're going here yeah so my team will go and do the recce and yeah, the scouting and, and all stuff. that yeah and the recent one you did was for a community yeah i think it was did you do boreholes or something i the borehole was two years ago okay and that was in tamale mm -hmm. the most recent one is the um, modern um, toilet facility. Yes, that. Yes, a 10-unit faci toilet facility. How did you feel when they were all jubilating, very excited to see, and also happy about the projects that you did? I felt relieved. I'm like, oh, really? thank God. Because I thought I would not meet up to the deadline. Um, we didn't start on time, Ooh. you know, so I was thinking, am I going to make it before, I need to finish it before 5th of December. Mm -hmm. It needs to be done, you know, the back and forth. The scouting of the land, but yeah. the queen mother gave us the land, and okay. um, you know, and, and I did it in my hometown. It just so, because um, over the years I've gone everywhere, and I realized that uh, I haven't done something from where I come from. Mm -hmm. So we found out that the, there was a part of the community somewhere that didn't have um, toilets. So um, my manager and the team went there and they scouted, and it's so, okay, it's true. So they gave us a land and then we had to get to Just work. Just get to work. Yeah. But it was, it was relieving, like you said, to know yeah. that you had finally done it. Yes. And this is something that's going to continue because it's become a part of your career now. Exactly. I do it every, every 5th of December. Every 5th of December. And I, I, I adore it. But then the thing, I do some charity behind closed door, but the 5th of December, I make it public and just so that people see and emulate and do the same. Yeah. Yeah. Recently, we saw a lovely photo of you and your mom. Oh, really? It was so lovely. And that went viral as well. Because again, like you said, you're very, you know, very private. So mm -hmm. not too much of you goes out there, which is yes, great. Yeah. But everybody saw your mom and they, 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 were, they were really happy about how beautiful she was mm -hmm. and all of that. What's your relationship like with her? Do you get time for family? Yes, um, I'm the last baby. Ah. The last born, yeah. Out of how many? We're five. Only boys? And you Four are Four girls, one boy. You have yeah. sisters? Yes, I do. Have you seen any of my sisters? <laughs> They're where, busy making money. Where do you hide them? They like to work too much. <laughs> They're there. But we never see you post them. You know how people sometimes want to say, oh, happy birthday, sister. And then we see a picture of sister here, brother here. They're just too busy. I know. They don't have time for Instagram. They don't even own an Instagram account. They're they just don't. busy, like, working, 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 making money. So they don't have an Instagram account. I haven't even thought about that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I see. Okay, but you get to meet up a lot. You yes, of course, we meet all up. the time. Yeah. We talk to each other all the time. Um, yeah, so we're, t we're together all the time, yeah. Production on movie sets. This is something you've done before. 
as a producer, right? No, I haven't. You produced. haven't done that before. Nah. You don't nah. have an interest in it. No, I don't. Oh, I don't like to stress myself. You like the soft life. Yes. Ah, exactly. That's the word. Yeah, the yeah, soft life. Exactly. I see that. Yeah. So it's not something you're ever going to. Nah, I don't think so. Impair how like I'm yeah. just thinking I'm like so I don't just like do everything. Stress. Yes, just come and do your part and uh -huh. go. Pay me, let me do my part and go. But I don't have time to be calling artists. Where are you? Where are you? Like because artists are very troublesome, you know. Are and, you troublesome? Uh, Small. I'm not troublesome. I just don't like to come to set early sometimes and they complain. But no, but I'm okay. I'm not a troublesome person. Okay. Probably you have to ask a producer. But I, well, I don't give. I don't give. She will join us at this point, so she tells us about because there's a new movie and your executive producer is here. Yes, well, who happens to be my manager. I want to hear about that story and how long you people have worked together for and all of that. Please put your hands together for <laughs> Hajia Samira Yakubu. <laughs> Before we get into the movie, I know that your journey also has been a very interesting one. So you started off in the movie industry as what? Were you a so I was doing costume. Okay. I was producing at the time. Okay. And I was co-producing with other producers. I see. And then I do location, makeup, and all that. So you really yes. understand the movie industry. Exactly. How did you and Jackie meet? <laughs> okay, so I was at, that's uh, that's like 22 years ago. Wow. I think 2001. So I was a top producer. I was a journalist. I had just finished school, and I was. Samira, working. you were a journalist at yes, one point. Yes, I practiced for years. Before you did. I didn't know that. <laughs> Hello, senior. <laughs> <laughs> and so I just finished school. I got my first job at Top Radio. And then, um, so I, I used to watch her when I was in school. Things okay. we do for love. Uh -huh. I used to watch, the way she came in, I was like, oh, this young lady is so pretty with mm. her skin, beautiful skin color and all that. The so, days of Enyo now. Yes. Yeah. Oh, you still yeah, have yeah. Yeah. that age. So when, when, I, when I, 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 I realized that uh, they didn't have an entertainment program, so I said, oh, I wanted to produce an entertainment program that has to do with movies. But because in school I was even doing movies, I was acting. Yeah. But small scenes, of mm. course. And then I was like, no, the girl, I want to interview this girl. The black girl in Things We Do For Love. Mm. So I called the producers and I said I wanted them to bring the cast. Yeah. And I said I included her. Uh. But they came and they didn't come with her. Oh. So mm. I saw uh, Aluta. Mm -hmm. And then I said, ah, why didn't you bring the black girl, the Ayunam girl? He said, oh, you know, there's, uh, you know, they brought the cast they wanted. I said, okay, next week I'm giving you airtime again. Come with her and let me have an interview with you. Okay. And that was where I, that's how I met her. Just like that. Just like that. So she came the next week. She was seated in the at the reception, so calm, quiet. And then the secretary came to tell me that, oh, your guests are in. So I walked out. I saw like, wow, you're really beautiful. You're more beautiful than on screen. Mm. But you become one of the biggest stars in Ghana. That's what you told her. Yeah, that's what I told her. I said, let's go to the studio. And that's how then. Mm. What, then what, from there on... What did you see that made you so sure? I don't even know. Mm. Do you, I don't even know. I just... I'm like that. I just said it. Mm. And then uh, that was it. After the interview, we exchanged numbers. She was in school at the time. Where she was Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, and her brother and things do for love. Yes. Oh, okay. So then her mom driver would bring her to the studio sometimes. Then we just have conversations. So we're just friends. Then before we even started us. As managers, yeah. So you, you've managed her for how long? For like, uh, okay, so as friends, 22 years. But as manager, maybe 20 or 19. There about. Yeah, there about. You've done a fantastic job. Thank you. I don't know where you ever see Jackie and not see her. <laughs> they are like twins. <laughs> if you have to talk to Jackie, you have to go through her. Everything has to go through her. But I think you've done a fantastic job at that. Thank you. And also as a producer of movies. This is not your first no, movie that you've executively no. produced. How many movies have you done so far? So my first movie was 2005. Wow. Yes. And so um, with this movie, I collaborated with uh, uh, Dominion TV. Uh, yeah. And uh, it's a fit, beautiful story. Tell that me everybody about this one. can relate. A taste of sin. Yes, Tell us yes. about it. Yeah, so a taste of sin is a is a faith story. Like I said, um, it's a religious story that talks about God and uh, the 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 sins people think do that they think. You know, sometimes um, people would call you. Look at her. The things they will call you with, they are worse. Yeah. In their corners. Yeah. But because nobody sees them, do it, they think they are okay actually came here to fight. I don't understand. I came to fight my feelings for you. 
Do you still love him? Yes, I do. We have been instructed by the Lord to raise an amount of 500,000 United States dollars. What are we supposed to do with the money? We are supposed to share it. Tell the people to donate because the Lord commands them to. Crazy, not long ago, you made a declaration that the Lord has commanded the members to donate to the poor. Mr. J made me... I don't want you to tell anybody about this. Swear an oath of silence. You had a taste of sin. And when a believer does, consequences are severe and grievous more than a person living in sin. I believe that what is happening to him is not wickedness, but a wickedness. How dare you tell me it is not true? And I believe you. You want to use your life for money? You are using your mouth to prophesy negative things about your life. And God blessed you. God didn't bless me with a child. The devil cursed you with a child. God has no hand in your sin. A Taste of Sin with a cameo appearance by Archbishop Nicholas Duncan Williams. Oh, he's in the yes, film. Yes, Nicholas Duncan Williams. Yes, oh. my papa. He played yes. himself. Oh, yeah, I played see. Himself. So, so what role did you play? I played the wife of a pastor. Hey. Yes. Um, Is this um, something that you envision happening? Because <laughs> 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 maybe they say, will you marry pastor? So I'm sorry, sorry. So lie, lie. Lie. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't know. No, I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. You never know. Whatever never happens, know. Yeah. it's God who decides, yeah. right? Probably. I have a confession. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I called her for this movie. Samira, it's not my fault. Yes. I called her and I said I wanted her. I wanted somebody new. I wanted us to introduce somebody new and different. And I called the next movie. So that's the part um, of Naplied? Exactly. Oh, oh really? Oh, next movie. But she did a great job. So it's even yes, good that, exactly. you know, I, I do You would have also play. done a great job. So next one. You probably could have gotten you a nomination at the African. You know, you see, let me yeah, play Jackie's Jackie daughter. <laughs> or younger sister or something. No problem. So that every time when she's going, I'm with her. So no we'll, problem. We'll play the role together. And you can do it so well. Exactly. You, Jackie, do you? you yeah, next movie. Good, yeah. Is it a Sin City one? The si do exactly. I have to sing in it? Because... <laughs> <laughs> that one I don't want to No, no, I love the title, Sin City. I'll keep it. Okay. I love, my last movie last year was Red Carpet. Yeah. And yeah. this year is A Taste of Sin. Yeah. And 2005, my first ever movie that I wrote the script was Official Prostitute. Yeah. That's the way I like titles. Hmm. Very controversial mm. ones. Red Carpet. Yeah. Official Prostitute. Uh -huh. A Taste of Sin. Hey. Sin City. Sin, Sin City. Coming soon. Coming soon. Coming soon. <laughs> Coming soon. I'm not joking. But then. this is a Christian movie. Yes. yes it's very is. interesting that you're Muslim, right? Exactly. So I'm sure people have been asking questions that for a Muslim, how come you're writing a Christian movie? It's, it's amazing. For me, I keep telling people that um, I've been able to read the two books. That's the Bible and the Quran. Because I've got the opportunity since I was a child. I went to Catholic school. Ah. And it was... Reverend sisters and Reverend fathers that taught me throughout okay. my years in school. And um, so I understand both religions. For me, I don't have a problem. I'm a Muslim, yes. But I think that if you serve God, it's enough for me. Mm. And the movie talks about God and faith. And when Dominion TV wanted me to produce the film, they knew I was a Muslim. Yeah. So th that, that's another faith in mm. itself. Mm -hmm. Definitely. So we're looking forward to this movie. But quickly, before we wrap up on this conversation, there's a concern about the movie industry in Ghana and whether it's doing well or not. What do you think? You are a producer. How do you think we're faring and what can we do to fix it? So I would say that we have great actors in this country, extremely talented actors and good storytellers. But the problem we have mostly is funding. Mm. As filmmakers in Ghana, you have to be an independent filmmaker. All the movies I do, I did before, I did by myself. Mm. This is the only time that Dominion TV asks me to collaborate with them. Okay. To, so if we can get other people, other businesses that would want to work with us, it's not easy to produce in Ghana because EV equipment, getting it, it's not an easy job. Mm. It's extremely expensive and you can't buy all that. Mm. So we need a studio where at least when people, creative people who are young, who want to do this, that, uh, that there's a place they can go to find mm. the script. You read their script, if it is good, you give them the equipment and they pay some fee. Mm. 
so they can shoot and then that's the only way that's what nigeria did yeah when we shot uh, beyonce mommy's daughter and all that and they were getting like hey they are left behind yeah that's what happened they have a studio where the government is funding it with equipment and everything when you have if you're a filmmaker a nigerian filmmaker and you're good at your job and you have a very good script and you take it they will give you the equipment even plus money so you can go and produce a really? good job exactly and we don't but, have that here. but we can yeah so you meet people who are supposed to be helping the development of the industry will tell you i don't watch ghanaian films but who do you expect to watch ghanaian movies mm, mm. so that's the problem they should support it that's it. jackie you're an actor how do you feel about this situation and, and of course based on what samira is saying what can all, the actors also do just so the spirit doesn't die off. Because it looks as if for some time now, there are a few who would say that, well, there's no support, so what's the point in still remaining an actor in the industry? Um, I don't know, maybe because I've been in it, um, I'm not ready to back out, yeah. you know? And I believe there's hope. Um, you know, there was a time where everybody was, everyone was watching Ghanaian movies, yeah. you know? So in life, there are ups and downs. Mm. You know, and I believe we rise again. So Definitely. there's still hope. Yeah. We will rise. Yeah. We will yeah. rise. And that's why with Taste of Sin, yeah. Taste of Sin, you need to watch it. It's, we're back. Yeah. We're back. <laughs> we are. We're, back. we're all going to be there. Thank yeah, you both so back. much for joining thank us on you, the show. Thank you. And thank, thank you. you for coming. Thank you. Samira, thank you for having thank me. Thank you for making this happen. <laughs> thank you. Thank who bullies who, though? Who bullies who? Hmm. <laughs> it will shock you. Huh? She's calm, uh -huh. quiet. I am the crazy one. So of course, people will think it will be there. Yeah. But it's the other way around. She bullies you. Oh, she bullies you. Are, you are allow she's my Jackie. younger sister. Can you too. imagine? You allow Jackie to bully you. This girl. <laughs> Which is the of you who likes food more? She <laughs> You don't like food? I don't like food, but I don't know why I'm getting ready to. But she's the she's she's okay. one. Truly, I like food. Okay. She doesn't like food much, but she takes, you know, this... Uh, she takes too much fatty food, like little, little. Ah, yes. she never but I just eat, <laughs> you know, I just eat yeah. <laughs> when I have to. Yes. She eats. Who's <laughs> <laughs> more annoying? She. Oh. Me. She is? Oh. Look at her face. <laughs> this one, this one. Okay, who is more emotional? That's going to be the last one. Hey, queen of hey, emotions. <laughs> yes, I'm amazing. You, you can tell that. I'm you are Libra. emotional. I'm Libra. Oh. So I'm emotional, but you can't tell because I can be. If I so trip I... right now, she'll cry. <laughs> Isn't that bad? Oh, yeah, it's that terrible. bad. Yeah. Can we act a movie so right sometime now? Sometimes we don't want to tell her something because she will over exaggerate. We're you are kidding. For... Yeah. And here I was thinking that she was more emotional. No, no, no. So she's I... the hardcore. You yeah. are the one that's soft because, and hard. So one thing about Jackie, it's um, she's just there. She leaves everything to God. She's okay in her corner. And, you know, she doesn't have to, you know, too critical about, but I am somebody who wants to, you know, see things happening. It has to be widened. But she says she's to... a perfectionist. Oh. So how is she not critiquing when she wants everything mm, she to can be? If it works, it works. If it doesn't work, she will sleep. You are the former <laughs> yeah. young type, eh? Yes. Or if it doesn't work, she will sleep. She will sleep. <laughs> and, you know, I mean... then I'm like, are you serious? Are you sleeping at this time? <laughs> When everything is good, I can't sleep, she will sleep. That's what too much money does. <laughs> you can't be bothered about anything. Whether it works or not, you're sleeping, right? It's been yeah, a pleasure. Yeah, Please thank put you your hands us. together for Samira and Jackie up here. I'm, there to watch. I'm so grateful. Thank, thank you. you. Be a JJ, some music for us, please. What? Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much.